Welcome guys, myself Santokumar. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Office 365 CLI. First of all, what is Office 365 CLI? It is nothing but a set of commands which is used to manage the Office 365 environment. Also, we can manage SharePoint framework projects on any platform. We can use these commands in uh, Mac OS, uh, Linux and Windows environment. So, it's, uh, we can use it on any platform. First, uh, I'm going to show you how to install Office 365 CLI to my machine. So I have already installed it in my machine. So even though I'm going to install once again, so there is a NPM package available for it. So I am just using that. I'm going to install globally now. Okay, PNP slash Office 365 CLI. So this will Download a package and install it here. The current version of Office 365 CLI is uh, 1.13. Now I'm going to just, we have to just use Word 365 here. Okay. Once we give uh, the Word 365, it will move on to the Word 365 mode. So here we have to type help to get what are the available high level commands. So we can manage Azure Active Directory, Azure Management, Graph, SharePoint Framework and SharePoint Online. To access the SharePoint Online, you have to use SPO command. Just it has a list of uh, commands which is used to manage the SharePoint Online. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a web and how to remove it. First of all, we have to connect to the SharePoint Online site. So for that, we have to use SPO login command and the url so i'm going to you i'm going to connect to my tenant okay then enter so to authenticate we have to use this url i'm going to open and then i have to copy this authenticate code Uh, I'm going to uh, give the permission to Office 65 CLI to access the SharePoint Online object from my machine. Continue. Okay, and okay, you have signed in PNP Office 65 management shell. So now we can use Office 65 CLI commands to access the SharePoint Online. Okay, I'm closing that, and we have successfully signed into SharePoint Online. So I'm going to access what are the list of available subsites under this URL. SPU web list web URL. Okay, I'm going to access the list of subsites from this URL. So uh, here we have to give double dash. Okay, the two subsites available, and you can see it here. Okay, I'm going to site contents. Here you can see my two subsite. That's what we are getting here. Under the dev site, development site, I'm going to create a new subsite. For that, we have to use SPO web add and then parent web URL is development site. Okay, and then title will be Go 365 site. Okay. Then my web URL for this also. Go 365 site. And I'm going to use the uh, modern team site template here. So web template will be STS. Enter. Yeah, the site is created. So I'm going to refresh my site contents page under the development site. So you can see the Office 65 site is created. Navigating to this site, you can see it here. Yeah, that's it. And if you want to remove this, we have to use another command called remove. Before going to remove this site, uh, I'm going to show you how to get all the properties of your current site or, or uh, web. For that, we have to use SPO web uh, get command and then web url and we'll give you a new the url of uh, the new site oh, dev slash 365 site yeah 
here you can get all the properties of the site now i'm going to show you how to remove it for that svo web remove web url just try site confirm this will remove after refreshing the site contents you can see the site is gone that's it it's a very simple we can achieve everything in a single line of command and we can use this command in any platform okay so uh, by soon i'll come with uh, another set of commands in office 6 by cli so stay tuned thank you for watching